welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. I am Mitchell, your Intuitive Messenger, and this is your energy forecast for today, Monday, August the 4th, 2014. And as always, thank you for taking time to watch these videos, retweet, post, subscribe. I'm well on my way to 900 subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. And my fan page is like 953, so I'm about to cross 1,000 there. So it is my intention that these YouTube videos one day will become my base source of income. And um, because all those little ads you see aren't giving me pennies right now, but eventually that will become my base source of income as I grow and get more subscribers. And then what will eventually happen, then I will do more workshops and um, the private readings will probably stay about the same amount, but then I'll be able to release that corporate day job that I still do very much enjoy. So it's all about divine timing, which that's going to be our lesson today. So hold on for that. So today is number four. Four is our emperor in the major arcana, Matera. And he or she is a very balanced individual, very feminine, very masculine. Number four is a feminine number. It's very peaceful. It's very solid, which is, gives it that feminine quality. But the emperor is also the king. He's the one who's ready to go to battle, watch over his kingdom and his queen and his family and his subjects and, every, and all that. So there's that energy available to you today. So if you need to step into that take charge kind of a guy or that, that kind of a woman who just says, you know what, this is a battle I'm not going to fight. You guys deal with it yourself. I'm going to sit back because it's just not what I'm going to choose to get involved with. You can step into that energy today as it, as it might flow to you, around you. Also, you add up all the numbers today and you get number 19, which is our sun card. Because 16 was a tower, then we get the star card, a little glimmer of hope and light coming in. Moon card, more light reflected from the sun, which is today. Often about births, beginning starts, but it's just, think of it as the bright light being shown on, shined on, shown on, all that is. And, and just, you can see clearly, and it often will spark and start something brand new, which I feel like is where the birth aspect comes in. And 19 bulls down to number 10. 10 is our wheel card, and that often is about just the going on, the daily stuff, the life. It can also be like this merry-go-round type of a feel where you're passing by so many options, that wheel of fortune, many, many choices out there ahead of you. I always say, you know, either hang tight on the ride and enjoy it or step off and make a choice. And 10 boils down to number one. Magician energy. Magician, you have everything you need within you. Um, so when you walk into a meeting, you know, just know that you've got it all going on. When you go out on your first date, realize you are the whole package and you are perfect and whole as yourself using this magician energy today. You know, my mother used to say, and I think it was a quote from maybe Eleanor Roosevelt or somebody, but you you can only how how was it? Um, you can you give you give people permission to intimidate yourself. The only way someone can intimidate you um, or make you nervous or scare you is if you allow them to. Giving them permission. Don't give them permission to do that to you. Take a breath, just like I did with my reunion. I can hear Zuzu or somebody scratching at the door to get in. <laughs> they missed the boat. It's closed. So, yeah, they're scratching. Um, so, utilize that energy as well. So, the Lenormand card for today, go, to go along with all this, is 27, the letter. And this is often about messages coming to you. can be divine, can be emails, text, um, what you know, whatever. So, definitely look for those messages coming to you today. And the tarot card to go along with it to kind of add to it is going to be wonderful. The Nine of Cups. Jamie, remember I kept saying I pulled this? Remember what that was for last night? So, you know what? And this is messages of manifesting. So this might be a time where you journal your manifestations, your creations. You might, you know, and again, create the feeling. I feel amazingly beautiful and emotionally stable about this relationship or this job or this new purchase or this move. You know, journal and write down because this um, Nine of Cups, just this beautiful card, it gives you, it's your wish card. And then it's your hopes and your desires coming to fruition, and it's abundant. But you've got to create the emotion behind it, the feeling. You know, like I did the other day, you know, when you win that lottery, you feel that moment. That's your heart energy just expanding, exploding, and the universe kind of goes, huh, we need to, we need to give a reason for that. And, hold, and they're holding on to it. But if it's a split second, doesn't last long. The universe kind of goes, well, I'm not sure they're really serious about it. But hold on to the feeling, the emotion. So 
The lesson for today, last night a caller was um, calling about, you know, manifesting, creating, seeing their job. And so many of us, as the veil thins, as we come, become more intuitive, more empathic, and we feel and we see much more clearly beyond this human and physical form, we can see the person we want to be with. We can see the job we want to have. We can see the home we want to live. We can see all these things out there and ahead of us. And some of the challenge is there's something between us and that moment. And, part, and Spirit was showing me in my quiet time, we still live in a physical body, which is dictated by time. I can hear the clock ticking. I can see in front of me the ticking, the second going by. And there's something about that time and being in human form. I believe we can speed up time. We can slow down time. We can bend time. Um, and, and, but I think it's all irrelevant, you know, in the sense of, because of we're living kind of outside of that time frame and we're still stuck in time. So when you see what you want out there, there may be a divine timing. There may be something you're doing blocking it. There may be just a lesson you need to learn between now and then. You know, I wanted, to, I know there's a point where I wanted to be a big, you know, actor, rock star type personality. But I also knew that if I, I look back now and realize if I had stepped into it then, I'd be a mess. I'd be a drunk. I'd probably be dead. Because um, I hadn't learned and taken care of some of the things I needed to in my personality. You know, I was drinking myself silly up until like 20, 22, 23 years old. So to step into it then would have been almost like just traumatic. I probably would not have learned the lessons. And I do believe we have set up some some roadways and some pathways that we need to walk down, ride down, travel down as we grow here. Zuzu is trying really hard to get in, but I'm not going to stop the video just to go let her in. She's, I know she's struggling. And that's what we do. That is what we do. We're at the door, clawing to get in, clawing to get in. But you know what? On the inside of the door is your higher self. Love this metaphor. Let's go with it. Is your higher self taking care of some business. I'm in here taking care of business, posting this video. She thinks it's time to come in. And the challenge is she could have come in earlier but she chose to do something else. So now she has to wait a little bit. And we have to do that sometimes. Now here's the interesting thing. Fabian outside may hear her scratching and open the door for her and allow her in. You know, that's one way for her to get in here. Or she waits till I'm done. So sometimes divine timing, sometimes it's just how you created life and, and how you set up a few of the, the pathways for you to go on. So all that being said, I'm going to go let this little one in. Check out my website, intuitivemessenger.org, available for um, Skype phone um, sessions. I will be on Blog Talk Radio um, tomorrow night, A World Awakening with Andrea Perone. She is the oldest daughter um, from the Conjuring movie, so I'll be on that TV show. Look on my Facebook page to see that information. It's 9 to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And what else? Um, Cosmic Cafe next Sunday night. Um, the 16th, I'm on another radio show, all on my Facebook page, the Under Events. And I think that's about it. Have an amazing day. The animal communication spread is still up online as my special. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Namaste.